Hey, what's up, guys? Mindrenders here, and I am bringing you how to install Tale of Kingdoms and Mo Creatures. Because a lot of people are having trouble with Forge, I thought I'd make this video to show how it works, and I'll put a link in the description for everything that I use here. But uh, let's get started. So first, you're going to want to open your roaming folder, which you get by typing percent app data percent roaming. I don't know why mine has two, but they're both the same thing. So when you open one of that, it'll bring up this, and you'll find your Minecraft folder. I want to double click on that, and you want to go in your bin, and you're going to need this. But before you get that, you're going to want to download these mods. First, you'll need Minecraft Forge, because that's what everything's going to run off of. For Tale of Kingdoms, if that's all you want, all you have to do is install this. You also just download this, which there'll be a link in the description for. But if you want Mo Creatures, you're also going to need this, this, and this. So let's get started with the installation. So to install any mods, you either need WinRAR or 7-Zip. I use 7-Zip. So you right-click on your Minecraft.jar, go 7-Zip and open archive, and it should bring this up for you. You can just minimize this original screen. Now you go to Minecraft Forge because you need to install this first. So same thing, 7-zip, open archive, minimize. And you need to see both. And it tells you which one it is, so Minecraft Jar, Minecraft Forge. So first, you go into your Minecraft Jar, take the meta imp, and delete it. Just like that. Press OK. Then you're going to highlight all of this, which you can do by just clicking the first one, holding Shift, and then pushing the down arrow till you have everything selected. And then you're just going to click and drag it into this. It'll do that, and it'll ask if you're sure. Push yes, and it'll finish. Then you can close this and close this because what I always do is I like to check to make sure Minecraft is working and stuff because it's really annoying when you install a mod and then you find out it didn't work. So Forge will do its little thing down there like you saw. And once you see this, you know the mod installed correctly, but I guess you can try it in single player. I'm not going to, because I'm sure it worked. So now after that, you're going to go back to your Minecraft.jar, and this is... Well, if you want Tale of Kingdoms, all now all you have to do is just take Tale of Kingdoms from wherever you have it, and you're going to put it right in your mods folder. You just copy or drag it in, put in. I'm just going to do that last because I'm just going to get everything else installed. So for Mo Creatures, what you're going to do is you're going to go back into your your dot .jar with 7-zip or WinRAR, whichever you're using. And now you want the GUI API. You're going to also open that in 7-zip. And same thing as in mod or in Forge. You're just going to highlight all of this. Move it in, yes, close, close. Now you go back here, and now you're going to go back to mods from your original folder. See how there's nothing in? Now you're just going to take custom mob spawner, copy it in. You're going to take Dr. Zark's Mo, Mo Creatures mod. Copy that in, and then you're going to take Tale of Kingdoms, and put that in. Now you can just minimize these or close them, whichever you want, and then just run Minecraft. And, and uh, Forge does its thing again, and... There we go. So, I'll just start a new world to show you that it works. New world. Uh, let's go creative. I don't know if you can create a Tale of Kingdoms in creative, but let's try it anyways. I haven't played Tale of Kingdoms in a while. I just found it again. I was like, I should play it. So I am doing a Let's Play, which you might already know if that's how you found this video. But if you haven't seen my Let's Play yet, you should go take a look at that and any of the other videos on mine and 
Charlie's channel. It's really fun. So, as you see, Tale of Kingdoms is working. And yeah, I don't think you need to watch it create a new world. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe. And ignore my annoying dog who's barking in the background. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.